In the last section, we tested out our OAuth flow, but we immediately saw an error message that said redirect URI mismatch. So we were kind of expecting this error, or at least I told you to expect it. Let's take an opportunity to kind of figure out what's going on. And when we do, we're going to get a better sense of what OAuth is doing behind the scenes. I'm going to take the URL that's in my address bar right now. I'm going to copy it and then paste it inside my code editor so that we can kind of dissect this URL just a little bit. Now I'm going to turn on soft wrap like so. So here's the entire URL. Here's the base URL. And then after that, we've got a query string, which contains some information about the OAuth flow that we're kicking the user into. Now to just make this a little bit more legible, I'm going to add in a couple new line characters here after every property inside the query string. Okay, so the very first property we have is the response code, or the excuse me, the response type. And we're saying that we expect to get a code back. Remember, we had said that after the user grants permission to our application, the user would be sent back to our application with this code that we can use to exchange with Google to get some information about the user's profile. So after the user grants permission to us to read their account, we don't immediately get sent back their entire account and all the information tied to it. All we get sent back is that code, which we can then use to make a follow-up request to Google to ask for some more information about this user. So we are clearly asking for the code right here. So that's definitely working out pretty well. Next is the redirect URI. Now, obviously, based on the error message we got, this is part of what's going on wrong. So let's just take a pause over that one really quickly, and we'll talk about the other two properties first. So here's our scope. These are the two pieces of the information that we're asking for. We want to get access to the user's profile and their email address. And then finally, we also have the client ID, which identifies our application to Google servers. OK, so the redirect URI. Remember. The redirect URI right here, well, I shouldn't say remember because we haven't really specifically spoken about it just yet, but if you look at the redirect URI very closely, you will see HTTP localhost 5000 auth Google callback. So the redirect URI is the address that a user should be redirected to from Google after they give permission to our application. 